You see these people behind me? Some of them in about 10 minutes will have their very first Thai boxing fight and we're gonna capture it. For you guys' pleasure, I have brought a camera and a chest cap here so you guys can see my point of view and if I'm lucky, I'm gonna see if I can put it on one of the referees so we can get their point of view while they're in the ring. We got the referee to actually put it on. Thank you so much. <laughs> How are you doing? You're right. Nice to see you. Good to see you. How old is this young man? 15. 15. Okay, young man. Okay, guys. Five one minute rounds, Thai boxing. Keep it clean at all times. Listen to my command at all times. Pause. This here is me ringside with my camera capturing this Thai boxing event. This here is a local Muay Thai fighter called Oli. In this video, I took one of the best photos I've taken in a while, in my own opinion. And I liked it so much that I contacted a print company so they could print the photograph and ship it to one of these local fighters that I never met before. I think this video captures and instills the essence of photography, which is about doing something that matters with your photographs. Like I said in my video, where I get interviewed about what inspires me and my passion and why I do photography. And that's what I want to do with photography. And that's my inspiration. Someone who has done something that matters and pretty pictures, they're fine, but they're not up there. But I truly believe it and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you've been following my Instagram, you have seen that I've been practicing a little bit of Muay Thai. Go, go. I've been covering two or three events so far and you wouldn't think it but I think there's a lot of similarities between like sports photography and street photography especially if it's like a high paced sport where a situation happens in a blink and you either catch it or you don't. Talking about this decisive moment that will happen and something you are eagerly waiting for but for some reason I don't think we put sport photographers at the same level as like documentary or finite photographers, even though they are they were doing a job, trust me, <laughs> I've tried it. Let me share a couple of highlights from the other fights and then you'll see the fight with this young kid called Oli. This takes place in my gym called KO and I think during the event there will be around 100 fights. What's so cool about being at a local event and not like a big stage UFC event is that I can get so close to the ring. I can be inside of the ring with my hand taking photos, as you can see. And you would get to practice in a much more intimate environment, which would never be possible in a more professional setting. There are so many benefits, and this is important. There are so many benefits in covering something as a photographer that you're genuinely interested and passionate about. <laughs> Not only do you have a natural curiosity, but you also have the knowledge of the art itself. When you take these photographs, you know what to look for. In Muay Thai, since I have been interested in it for a while, and since I have been watching UFC and MMA way back in the day, back in the day where it was not okay to watch, then I feel like I have an, an edge because I think I can anticipate what's gonna happen or at least make an educated guess. When you see someone winding up his hand, you know the punch will come. Or maybe you know that this guy has a tendency to fake, so you're not gonna get caught in all of his fakes. If you cover an event, let's say it's three hours long, and you're just holding the burst mode down, then you come home with 10,000 photographs. That's not gonna work and it's not feasible. I think after this event, I came home with around 2000 photographs, which is a lot, but that's just the nature of covering something that is so high paced because when you anticipate the moment will happen, you will automatically take maybe 15 photographs in one second, depending on your camera and SD card capabilities. But there's something special about covering these events. One part of you is taking it in and another part of you is forgetting everything that's happening right now and focusing on the camera, the angle, the light, the settings and the action. After an event, you almost don't remember what actually happened. You have been witnessing it and being so concentrated about it, but from a photographer's point of view. So it's, it's a really weird thing. And good luck. <laughs> All right, so this is the fight with Oli. Right 
Ten seconds. As you can see, it's a pretty back and forth fight, pretty even. I do appreciate that combat sports is not for everyone and that a sport like Muay Thai can look very brutal, but there's a lot of respect that goes with it and it's controlled within this environment. Right after the last bell rings and the fight is over, I took this photograph. And I think this photograph encapsulates and instills what combat sports is about. A couple of days after I shared all the photographs with all the fighters and they can pick and choose whatever they liked and they, they can use it for their social media or whatever. And I got a message from uh, someone who told me thank you so much for capturing this photograph of my son. And that guy was the dad to Oli. It's difficult to take pictures during these events because the light situations are never great and there's a lot of action going on at the same time and people might not have the newest iPhone. So that then when the dad reached out, he was so thankful about having a memory from this event. I'm sure they have been training and talking about Muay Thai for so long, and now he has a memory of it. So with that, I wanted to see if I can, if I can print it. And I reached out to Salt Digital, who I told this story to, and who were happily sponsor a huge print. The process of getting the print was easy. I went to their website, uploaded the photograph, chose the paper, and a couple of days later, I had the poster in my mail. This is me unpacking it for the first time, which was wild. And as you can see, the photograph looks great and the quality of the print is excellent. So thank you so much to Salt Digital. I appreciate it and I appreciate that a brand cares about this story. Go check them out. Here you can see a video of Oli opening it for the first time. And this is a photograph of him and his coach in the gym who was very proud of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want similar style videos, maybe more print related in the future, if we can come up with some great stories or take photographs for people who need it.